Did that look like you? Someone who casts the golf club at the top? Something that looks a little like this. We get to the top of the golf swing and we throw that golf club in that direction. Leads to lack of compression, lack of low shots, lack of forward shaft lean. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix that casting action and what the causes are more importantly. So this is a common issue that I see from normally high handicap golfers. They cast that golf club and no matter what they do, they just can't seem to improve it. And there's a reason why. The number one cause to casting a golf club at the top of the golf swing is your golf club is simply too open at the top of the swing. So if that club face is too open, there is absolutely no chance that you can get any forward shaft lean. So think about this for a second. Let's say we had that open club face at the top and you did everything right, okay? You, you pushed forwards, you rotated the body like you're meant to, you're trying to get that forward shaft lean, that compression. Let's say you did all of those good things, but you had the face open at the top of the swing. Here's, the, here's what that's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna weaken my grip, okay? That's how I would get an open face. I get to the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push forward, I'm going to turn, I'm gonna hold on to all that quote unquote lag, I'm going to get that forward shaft lean. Uh-oh, that club face is pointing way out to the right. Okay, so what, what do I have to do in my body to, to not have this happen? Well, I would have to get back onto my back foot, lose the shaft lean, okay? And now all of a sudden I've got a manageable impact condition. I can get that golf club to start online. However, my body's not really set up to do so. So what we need to do is we actually need to fix the face at the top of the golf swing before you fix anything else. So what should the club face look like throughout the golf swing? Well, there's three areas we need to um, look for, and that is takeaway. What are we looking for in that takeaway position? We would be looking for this club face to point a little bit more at the ground at this moment in time. See how that club face is pointing more at the ground? Another way to look at it is it's matching my spine angle at this moment in time. Okay, so I'm not standing up too tall, all right? My club face isn't too closed, it's not too open. You can see that that is matching my spine angle looking more at the ground. Now, if I can continue this movement to the top of the golf swing, or at least to lead arm parallel in the backswing, what we're going to see is a much stronger club face position at this moment in time. So you can see that club face is almost looking back at you. Okay, an open face would look like that. That would cause me, uh, that would cause me to cast, okay? So that is not a good club face position. We want it to be a lot stronger. And then obviously as we continue to turn to the top, we get a much stronger club face. So what that looks like from this face on view is, again, if I was to cast this golf club, if I had this golf club super weak and open, again, what I have to do to close it up is I have to throw that golf club this way. That's a closing mechanism and that's what gets the face closed. Whereas if I could have a stronger club face at that takeaway position, keep that thing strong to lead arm parallel, keep going to the top. What we'd then be able to do is, if I came down and casted my, my golf club from, from here, look at where that face is now pointing. That face is pointing much more left. So I would need to marry that match up um, with something that resembles some more shaft lean, some more lag being held, some more rotation, some more shaft lean, and you'll notice there that that golf club is much more square. I'm on my lead side, I'm rotated, I've got the shaft leaning forwards, and I'm de-lofting that golf club. So what are some ways that you can strengthen that club face throughout the motion? Well, the most easy way to do that would be a grip change. And the next part would be a wrist angle change. So typically what I see is, is two things. I see a grip that is way too weak, where the the lead hand is underneath the grip too much. Maybe the trail hand's on top of the grip. And what you're going to see is that's just a recipe for getting that golf club super open. 
The only way I can close this club face at this moment in time is to get my lead wrist to be more bowed or flexed. Now, in my opinion, this is a very difficult way to play golf for the recreational golfer. Think of a Colin Morikawa who does this extremely well. We're not Colin Morikawa, so it's really hard for us to do it. So my recommendation would be to strengthen the grip just a little bit. And what you would do is let's say on this face on view, I got my lead hand on top of the grip, my trail hand maybe a little bit more underneath the grip, and now all of a sudden that my club face is a lot stronger. So once I have a stronger club face, my takeaway position looks a lot different. And what you'll see is my, my lead wrist can actually now be flat and my club face is still in a fairly strong position. There's no need with a stronger grip to flex that lead wrist down because now I'm gonna shut it too much. So we can have a fairly flat lead wrist with a slightly stronger grip and still get the club face position that we want. From here, we would wanna maintain this wrist angle. We don't want to flex it even more because that closes. We don't want to extend it or cup it because that opens. We want to try and feel like we just maintain that flat wrist position to the top of the golf swing. And what we're going to get with that grip is we're going to get a much stronger club face at this moment in time. Now what you can start to work on is bringing that club down a lot more effectively. We can start to, quote unquote, maintain that lag or hold the lag, as you might call it. We don't have to lose that golf club at the top. So essentially what we can do now with that, with that club face position is we can start to feel like we push forwards, lower the arms, and a key moment in the golf swing is right about here. What you're gonna notice with the best players in the world is at thigh, uh, at right thigh, when, when the hands are level with the right thigh, you're going to see that's where the golf club is parallel to the ground. With someone who casts the golf club, you're going to see that the, the hands get the, the golf club parallel to the ground far too early. And you're going to see that the hands are nowhere near the right thigh. What you're probably going to see is impact is where the, the hands meet right thigh with it, with someone who casts the golf, uh, golf club. So what we wanna see is we wanna get that club face in a much stronger position, start to transition and get those hands to get level with the right thigh a lot earlier. From there, we're going to continue that movement through and what you're actually going to do is impact the golf ball with, when your hands are level with your left thigh. Again, a caster, right thigh only. Okay, someone who's got some good impact conditions are going to be right about here and start to turn into that golf ball, hands level with left thigh. Now, I can't stress this enough. The club face is the king in this scenario. The club face has to be in the spot we need in order to work on all the other things we just mentioned there. So make sure you're finding a way to get that face in a stronger position. Otherwise, no matter what you do, you're likely going to continue casting that golf club. So once that club face is in a pretty good spot, I like to give players this feel because they're so used to going this way at impact that we now need to learn how to go this way at impact. So what we're seeing there is their, their old impact was lead wrist moving into extension and the right wrist moving into what we call flexion. So we're kind of scooping that golf ball. So we need to feel the opposite. We need to feel like the left wrist is moving into flexion and the right wrist is in extension, okay? And that's how we're going to feel that new impact position, providing the club face is in a good spot. So the feel I like to give players is to put your hands together just like this. We're going to feel like we flex the lead hand, extend the trail hand, and maintain that all the way through to about hip high in the downswing. So it looks like this. Flex, extend, maintain as you pivot. Okay, we're going to do that again. Flex, extend, maintain as you pivot. So what that looks like with the golf club is set up over a ball. You don't have to have a ball there. We're going to flex, extend, maintain through there. 
Now that's not actually how we're going to hit a ball. We do release some of that angle, but that's the feeling I want you to have. So again, flex extend, maintain into the pivot. And then we're gonna go ahead and just practice a couple of those as we move through. And if you want to, you can exaggerate by trying to hold on to that angle. Notice I'm only doing very small shots. So when I go to practice this, I really wanna just make some exaggerations and really try and feel like I'm compressing that ball. Now what you would have saw in that video there was that ball come out super low, okay? The hands were way ahead. The wrist angles were in a very strong position. That's changing, that's completely changing what I used to do, which was that. Okay, remember, we need to feel these under small swings first. Once you have the, uh, the notion of that, and once you understand how to do that, you can start to hit some half to three quarter shots. So I've got my seven iron here. I'm looking for a nice low shot, nicely compressed, really trying to feel that movement. And as you can see there, you've made something that you've probably never made before other than behind the golf ball, which is a nice divot in front of that golf ball. So there you have it. You've got everything you need to fix that casting motion you've got in your golf swing. The face needs to be in place before anything else, and then you can learn how to train that under some small swings and eventually start to ramp that speed up as you start to get used to it. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.